Okay, so this is chapter 5 neuro, and in this video we'll be discussing Parkinson and Alzheimer's disease. So we'll start with Parkinson's disease, and so this is a disorder that is associated with motor symptoms. Um, so when we think of people who have Parkinson's, we often think of celebrities, and so a celebrity would be Michael J. Fox. So Parkinson's is caused by the loss of dopamine receptors in the brain, which can lead to decreased dopamine. And so the way that we treat it is by increasing the amount of dopamine available in the brain. So the first medication we'll discuss today is a combination medicine of levodopa and carbidopa, and the brand name is Cinemet. And so this medication um, basically just replaces our dopamine. So levodopa works by increasing dopamine synthesis, and this is one of the most effective drugs that we have um, currently to treat Parkinson's. And the carbidopa actually has no effect on the Parkinson's itself, but it just makes levodopa more available to the brain. So levodopa can get into the brain, but it can also circulate in the vasculature. So by preventing it from um, being degraded, we can um, make it more available to the brain, and then we can also give smaller doses to avoid some side effects. So. You can remember that these deal with um, Parkinson's disease because they both end in DOPA and we need to increase the dopamine to treat Parkinson's. So the second medication is Selegiline or the brand name Eldapril. And so the way that Selegiline works is that it inhibits monoamine oxidase B receptors. So as you recall from the antidepressant video, um, monoamine oxidase um, we use monoamine oxidase inhibitors in depression because monoamine oxidase breaks down different neurotransmitters in the brain. So um, when we are selecting for the B receptor with a monoamine oxidase B inhibitor, that prevents dopamine from being metabolized. Um, and this is thought to be neuroprotective, which just means that it's thought to maybe delay or prevent the neuroprogression in the brain of Parkinson's disease. So we can remember that selegiline, the stem of the geline, means Parkinson's. And then we can also remember that eldapril um, sounds kind of like elderly, and that's who we mostly see Parkinson's in. So then next we're going to discuss um, a couple different therapies for Alzheimer's disease. So Alzheimer's disease is basically um, categorized as memory loss and having impairments in thinking. So the reason that Alzheimer's happens, they think, is because of the loss of acetylcholine in the brain. So um, we're going to try to increase levels of acetylcholine to, to treat it. And so the first medication we'll discuss today is Dinepazil. Um, the brand name is Aricept. And so that is a cholinesterase inhibitor. So acetylcholine is typically broken down by an enzyme called acetylcholinesterase. So if we give an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, that will inhibit the enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine, leading to increases in acetylcholine, um, leading to um, symptomatic benefit. Um, so we can remember that denepazil is for Alzheimer's because we can rem remember, um, don't remember zilch. So kind of sounds like denepazil. Um, the next medication we'll discuss for Alzheimer's is memantine. The brand name is Namenda. Um, and memantine is an NMDA receptor antagonist. And so NMDA receptors are involved in memory and learning. And so we think that in Alzheimer's, there is an overstimulation um, of glutamate on those receptors. So if we block glutamate, we can protect against further damage. So a way to um, remember that memantine is for nemenda. Um, the mem in memantine, we can remember that it sounds like memory. And then um, for Namenda, we can think of Namenda as mending the brain. And Namenda also has an NMDA in it, and that's just like the receptor. So then we can re remember the mechanism of action as well. So let's go through a few questions. So practice question one, a combination medication used to treat Parkinson's disease that contains a drug that enhances the effect of the other drug is... And then, like we said before, we have our, our four medications that we're going to discuss today. So the correct answer is levodopa carbidopa. 
Um, this is the only medication with two drugs, so it, um, that's why B, C, and D are incorrect. And as you recall, levodopa increases dopamine synthesis, and then carbidopa just makes more levodopa available to the brain. So now we'll go over um, answers B, C, and D, and we'll change the question so that we can make B, C, and D correct. So practice question three, an MAOB inhibitor that is thought to be neuroprotective in Parkinson's disease is, and so the answer is B, selegiline, because B is an MAOB inhibitor and it is neuroprotective, which means it might just delay disease progression and um, degeneration in the brain. So A is incorrect because it is for Parkinson's, but it has a different mechanism of action and it's not neuroprotective. And then C and D are incorrect because those are agents that we use to treat Alzheimer's disease. So question four, which of the following medications is an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor? And so the correct answer is C, Dinepazil. So as you can recall, with um, Alzheimer's disease, we want to increase the amount of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is broken down by acetylcholinesterase. So if we give an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, we will prevent the breakdown of acetylcholine and then increase the levels in the brain. So d memantine is incorrect because it is an NMDA receptor antagonist, and A and B are incorrect um, because of their mechanisms as well as they are used for Parkinson's and not Alzheimer's. Practice question five, an NMDA receptor antagonist that is indicated in moderate to severe Alzheimer's disease, and the answer is d memantine. Um, so it is the NMDA receptor, as we recall, that the brand name Namenda contains an N, an M, a D, and an A. And this is just indic indicated for moderate to severe Alzheimer's. So A and B are incorrect because of their mechanisms of action and also their use for Parkinson's and not Alzheimer's. And then Dinepazil is incorrect because the mechanism of action is different. And we actually used dinepazil earlier on in Alzheimer's treatment, um, and that is also indicated for mild Alzheimer's, unlike memantine. 